folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen and the start of my pulled pork month. Uh, so this is the first out of four videos in my pulled pork playlist, which you can check out uh, by clicking right up here for your full pulled pork inspiration. So we're going to start with a classic, perfect oven pulled pork, a delicious meal for all of the family that could not be easier to cook at home in the oven all year round. So here, as always, are the ingredients I'm using. If you wanna have a go, hit pause on the video now. Write down all of these ingredients. Notice we are using pork shoulder. That actually creates the best pulled pork, in my opinion. So get that if you can. It's good value for money. The extra fat melts into it when cooking, making it more succulent, and it's perfect for slow cooking and achieving lazy. And that's actually a pretty good way of summarizing this recipe. Achieving lazy, so easy. Good times, guys. What's not the love? Start off by getting your oven nice and hot and then lining your roasting tin with foil big enough to cover the full pork shoulder uh, later on, but just tuck it away for the moment. Now get your pork shoulder from your local butchers or if you go to the supermarket, you can look for a sticker uh, that says perfect for pulled pork on it, uh, which actually on the back uh, says how to cook it, which is darn cool. Uh, so you can actually uh, put it right there if you're interested, that, that's optional. So get your pork shoulder out of the packaging, then remove the string using scissors. I'm taking the rind off. There's enough fat in the shoulder anyway, but you can leave it on if you wish and unroll the pork. That will help it cook faster. You wanna give it a nice pat dry with some kitchen towel and sit it into your roasting tin with that tin foil. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our rub by mixing together the salt, paprika and sugar on this plate right here. So I just tipped it into a mixing bowl and mixed it through to create the rub. So what you wanna do is massage half of that mixture right into the pork in the roasting tin, making sure to get it into all the nooks and crannies and evenly coating it. But you wanna leave the other half to one side until later. We just did some dry rubbing, baby. Place into the oven for 30 minutes uncovered. This is to simply brown our pork shoulder and with color comes flavor. This is a really important step. Once you're happy with the color, Oh my goodness, I was so happy. It was looking amazing. Take it out of the oven. Boston was going a little bit excited right there. I'm not gonna lie. He was loving the smell and I was too. Carefully fold the foil over the joint so it is completely covered. Lower the temperature of your oven and let it cook for at least five hours to cook through until fully tender. And with the pork shoulder now in the oven, uh, you can now pretty much relax and do whatever you want. So it's a perfect recipe uh, for a Sunday, but any other day of the week. We are definitely achieving lazy right now. And remember, whatever leftovers we have can be used in other recipes that I'll be showing you in the next few weeks. Uh, to find room for all that pork, I actually took the kids out for a big walk uh, with Boston. Good times. Oh my goodness, guys. Are you ready to see this? Yes, I think you are. Once ready, the shoulder should be a deep brown color, just like this. Let the joint rest for half an hour before simply shredding the pork in its cooking juices into lovely chunky pieces, using some good old table forks as claws. It should literally just fall apart, adding the remaining rub, mixing and stirring in well, ready for serving. Oh my goodness. It was looking so good. Do try to get the shoulder if you can, guys. It really makes a difference. And in Britain alone, we don't consume enough shoulder, so it will help our farmers too. We served our pulled pork with some corn on the cob, rustic mashed potato, and tomato relish. Looking so, so good. And yes, it's fair to say the girls absolutely loved it. In fact, they demolished it, uh, just like I did, if you're interested. Uh, so guys, let me know down below any pulled pork inspiration or serving ideas you've got. Remember to check out the rest of the playlist as we add more videos to it. Check out lovepork.co.uk for more inspiration, and I'll see you very soon.